Welcome. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to test correlations using JASP. So I have this silly small data set with three variables, and we're going to look at the Pearson's R correlation between these variables. So first you'll go to, once you have your data set loaded, you go to regression, and the first option, correlation matrix and you enter in the variables that you want to test the correlation between. And by default, it will select Pearson's R. If you want to do a non-parametric correlation, the options are Spearman's and Kendall's tau. Uh, so what another option you have is the way that it's presented. So you can present it as a correlation matrix in the usual way that correlations are presented, or you can look at it as a more condensed table as, as a pairwise table. So the pairwise table or the correlation matrix. So we'll go ahead and interpret it as the pairwise table. You can also ask it to put asterisks according to the p-value. So it will put one asterisk if the p-value is less than 0 0.05. It'll put two asterisks if the p-value is less than 0 0.01. And it will put three asterisks if the p-value is less than 0 0.001. Another nice option is that you can ask for the confidence intervals. So it'll give you the 95% confidence interval for each correlation. And we can also look at scatter plots. We can also specify whether or not we want to do a two-tailed test, which I'll leave it as a two-tailed test, or a one-tailed test specifying a positive alternative hypothesis for the correlation or a negative alternative hypothesis for the correlation. So we'll go ahead and investigate the output. And we can see that the correlation between variable 1 and variable 2 is quite strong and the p-value is less than 0 0.05 indicating a strong positive correlation. However, if we look at the confidence intervals, we see that, I mean, given our stupid small sample size, we can see that we're not real confident about the precision of our estimate because based on our sample, we estimate that in the population, the Correlation likely ranges anywhere between positive 0.19 to all the way up to positive 0.95. So although that does exclude zero and tentatively allows us to rule out the null hypothesis of no relationship, we're really not sure how strong that relationship is. For x1 and y, we also get a rather strong correlation, and the p-value is quite low and the confidence interval also excludes zero, but is not uh, very precise. And then for x2 and y, we get a ridiculously strong correlation of 0.93, and the p-value is quite low, 0 0.0003. So that negative four, e negative four, just means move the decimal place to the left four places, which will give you 0 0.0003. And the confidence interval is a bit more precise, but not terribly so. It ranges from 0 0.69 to 0.99. So we're, we can be relatively confident, although it's a you know, silly small sample example. Uh, we can be relatively confident that in the population, the correlation is likely positive and likely relatively strong. So that's the basics of how you run a Pearson's R correlation using JASP. It's pretty straightforward. It has this nice uh, ability to also create the confidence intervals rather quickly, which some programs don't allow. You can also look at scatter plots for the variables, although in this example, it won't be pretty, but you can see that the correlations in this small bogus data set are strong and 
positively correlated. All right, I thank you for listening to this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it or that you find it helpful in some way.